This is Tom Ryan from Slade. Hey, this is Randy from Lamb of God. This is Charlie from Antex. This is Alex Webster from Cannibal Corpse. This is Metal. Promoting the decline of Western civilization. Metal on Pure Rock 107.3 KLQ. And we've got Slayer on our side. Hey, this is Kerry King from Slayer. This is Metal with Giles and Rhett. Pure Rock 107.3 KLQ, this is Metal. And as some of you may know, we're starting out every single Metal show this year with the Slayer song. We've done that for the first couple of weeks here, and we're going to continue to do so. Slayer's the latest album, Christ Delusion, came out last August, and on the phone is the legendary Kerry King. How you doing, Kerry? Legendary. All right, man. I can deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this uh, Christ Delusion album came out last August. Of course, the first uh, album with Dave Lombardo in quite a few years. I was wondering if you could elaborate on the exit of Paul in the uh, entrance of uh, Dave Lombardo back into the Slayer mix and the writing process that evolved. Well, Paul said when he left us that he had a uh, tendonitis in the elbow problem. And, you know, my whole thing was, well, you know, Tennis people get tendonitis all the time, and they just take time off, and it's fine. But he was adamant about, you know, no, no, I don't want it to, you know, ruin my my drum playing in the future. And found out, you know, I think it was just last year that it was all just he just made it up. He wanted out, and that's that's how he copped out and wanted out, and he did it. <laughs> a buddy of mine saw it in a Japanese mag. Are you serious? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, well, well, whatever. You know, give us the opportunity to to look for somebody, and Jeff suggested Dave, so we um made the calls and Dave came on to do the tour. Then he came on to do the next tour. And I think it's probably around that time we started talking about um, a record because that all the journalists wanted to know. So um, we just rode with it and Dave was into it. So here we are. That's killer. And you guys are obviously all getting along well because the Unholy Alliance tour took over the freaking world. That was a cool tour. I had fun. Got a, a favorite country that you like to visit? Um, probably. <clears throat> if I had to pick one, I'd probably say Australia. I don't get there enough, and last time we were there was 2001, and we're going there in April, so I'm pretty excited about that. Well, 2001, of course, uh, God Hates Us All, your previous album before Christ Illusion, was, uh, it turned out being released on 9-11, which was the 9-11. Uh, can you reflect on that day and exactly how you guys felt? We were supposed to go to Europe that day to start um, Extreme Steel with Pantera. No, 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 it was Tattoo the Planet with Pantera, and funny thing about that whole story is Pantera was already in Europe. They went the day before, so they had essentially to just wait for us to get there because, you know, you couldn't fly for a few days. Right. So in, in that, you know, reflection of those days, they decided to come home, and we were trying to get over there, so we flew over there like a week later and just carried on the tour without them. Oh, no kidding, huh? Yeah, that, was, that would seem like a very, um, I don't think gutless is the word, but, you know, if you're already there... Why are you coming home? You don't live in New York City. None of them did. They're all from Texas. Oh. I never understood that because I would have really enjoyed doing Europe with them like we did in the States. Right. Was there a primary member of that band, you think, that, that drew that little part of the tour to its conclusion? I don't know, man. With those guys, I mean, not Dime and Vince, but with Rex and Phil, you might have been, they might have said, ah, I'm tired of touring. I want to go home. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> right. Hey, man, you got a favorite uh, dime bag story? You know, and I'm sure you hear this all the time. Everyone's got a great dime bag story, man. He's, he was absolutely legendary. Well, I I got so many, I couldn't even think of one, you know, because we toured a lot. We we, um, yeah, we toured a lot. Every time they came through town, if I was in town doing nothing, I would go play on stage with them every time I'd go up and do Hostile. All right on. you, And, of course, I uh, wouldn't even know where to start. You did the solo on Goddamn Electric. Yeah. So yeah. when we did the Extreme Steel in the States, for anybody who didn't see it, I would go up on stage and do Hostile, and then later on I'd go back on stage and do the lead in Electric. Well, other than that, I got a couple of questions that some fans emailed me and they wanted me to ask you on behalf of them. And uh, It's a classic Slayer logo here we're talking about, the Slayer logo that you see etched across people's backs on their notebooks since junior high school. Who was the first person to come up with that? Just the basic Slayer logo. I don't know if Dave had a part in it because I know me and Dave worked on flyers. I can't draw, so I would say, Dave, do something like this, or Dave, do this. So it was probably him and our manager at the time. I think that's the story, but hey, 
That's a long time ago, man. There's been a lot of Jaeger go through the veins since then. <laughs> well, hey, Christ Illusion is an amazing new album, man. I, I want to know the secret to your guys' longevity because this is, what, your 39th album, I think? Nah, it's, uh, only like 9 or 10. <laughs> you know, it stands up to any of them. What's the secret? Boy, like Kiss probably has like 39 or 40, you know? <laughs> yeah, and they're all overdubbed. So was it Secret to Success? I don't know, man. I'm still a big fan. Um, if I'm at home, you'll see me at metal shows. You I won't, I won't be the one hiding in the back either, you know. I'll be sitting at the bar, <laughs> hanging out with the kids, taking pictures, doing autographs, getting shots, and I don't know. I think it keeps you in tune with what's going on. We're going to catch you on tour. You don't have any uh, West Michigan dates coming up in the near future, but uh, we're holding out for it. We can't wait. Yeah, we're probably going to be back on another Unholy Tour in the fall. So Awesome. I, I'm sure that'll be in your neck of the woods. All right, Kara, you guys have a great time, and uh, take it easy. Absolutely, man. We'll catch you next time out. Thanks, man.